Right. Turn to the lesson time again. Um, the most commonly asked question when most people first get the boards and that lot. You know, you've seen the video. You've all got it. Maybe you haven't. You know, you haven't seen all of them going back. And there are ones explaining about this rule on the forty-five, but. You know, it never bothers me when lads, you know, don't know it to start off with because it took me, I never knew to start off with, you know. Um, back when it first began, I think it was Neil and Jeff were the only two that knew that the reason why it wouldn't work on the 45, the penny never dropped with me for absolutely ages. But anyway, the rule remains the same in that lot, but with the new pipe finder, we, um, we have got, other several options or answers, but I'll just give you a little demo of what, you know, some might be an experience, especially on these long plank ones when you're fitting on the 45, because it is nice to use it just for the 45 template. It's quicker than a holly board if you're square, but if you're not, this is what would happen. Drop it in. Bang. It's too big. So it's either that or it's hitting it too short. And then automatically you're getting the um <laughs> you know with something that is it is literally just the physics of the way the game works. Now obviously if this happens now, Dave, um your first option straight away is you're gonna go to the holly board, but when you're working with these long planks, if you haven't got one of the holly board helpers, this is not, you know, the holly board, it's got, you're anchoring from this point and it can tilt in and out so easily with any kind of, uh, you know, slightest movement. But with the holly board helpers, obviously that makes that better. So this is gonna be your option You know, you're right, you're instant fix for it. But obviously when you're working on the 45 sometimes, when you're getting down, especially when you're closing the corners, you can't use the holly board. So you're going to want to know these rules. Anyway, so... Uh, so now we've got that one in spot on. See, what you would do if you were using your normal boards... You would cut that one in perfectly, put your template up against the wall, okay, and then just move the plank along till it hits your template, no, that's on there, make sure it's square. Okay, and then just mark your board. I've already got the mark there, but I'm just showing you again. Just drag the knife up it. So, you'd have that on your board. Sometimes I like using the longer board so you can support the plank all the way across. But once you've got that mark, if you were going to be using this board, when you go to the next cut, oh, do I need to move that? When you go to the next cut, and in theory, for the rest of the cuts along that wall that you'll be cutting in, if you line each cut up to the mark that you've made on your board, instead of just um, where it's going to be, you're going to get all of those ones. In first time every time because the wall will probably be the same degrees out all the way up so therefore in theory you know it's going to be the same much to move over but that's I mean and it will be the same Oops. And it will be the same, if it was cutting them all short, you would be moving them this way and do them on that side so it cuts it that much over. 
But again, the holly board does get all those ones. But when you get to the uh, corners, which we will do in a bit, you know, there's there's lots of cuts with, you know, you can't use the holly board, so you need to know these rules. So I know that the rest of that wall is out. I've just got to push it over and I can use that all the way up. Let's do the next one. But if you had this, oh, let's see, so if you had this in mind when you're setting out, see, if you've got one main wall or whatever the main one that's going to be, if you set out square off that, then you can just use them as normal. And it does, and it's a lovely uh, fit when it's all nice and square. And it's actually quicker than the holly ball because you're lining each one up on the planks as you go and you're just dropping them all straight in. So again, in all of these ones, I will be using my uh, holly board all day long. But this is hopefully just to try and help answer those questions about the lads. If they're using this template and you're getting it wrong, you know, there is a, <laughs> I can cut that template three different sizes, you know, and one out of three times, you're going to be right. But not all walls are square, but these are just the things to see. But we are now coming up with much better methods. I can demonstrate one for you quickly now. What can we see? See now you've even got an, <laughs> another option if you put your plates in. Just a bit of a corner, I'll just nip that off manually because I'm trying to keep the videos to less than a, I don't know. So they're easier to load up. Yeah, sorry, I had, a, uh, I had an absolute brain freeze then, wait there, man. So, I mean, that one you would just get the holly board in there, so I'm not just going to show you how to suck heads, I'm just going to do this one. So, you'd have your plank, you could rough it down, and you could put it on the board in the right place, but now, You can take the Jeff square, and this is only like for your first cut. You need to know, you'd like to find out if the wall is square or not. Where's my little marker? You know, you can put that on the end of the plank. If you want to find out if it's square or not, make your little mark. Okay, and then you put the template on it. You know, you don't even need the ball for that. You can just put that there. It says bring it in just to there. So, you know, it doesn't matter what the cut is. It doesn't matter if it's square or it's pissed. The better you get with the board, you find these cuts. And, you know, and regardless, you know, the old methods or any methods and that lot that existed before for fitting on the 45, but um, I'm not being funny, until recent years, no one was really doing it on the 45, you know, all the time. It was once in a blue moon and no one was doing, hardly anyone was doing herringbone. It's a very recent sort of like pandemic, if you want, but that's all it is. So we're all sort of like learning these different ways more because it was never really in demand it was straight lay all day years ago but the difference the more boards make basically if whatever method you're going to use whether you're you know whether you're cutting the template on the diagonal across there if you have to balance a plank on top of a plank anywhere within your system or whatever method you're doing it's not as good it's not as accurate it's not as effective you know, and it's, it's just never going to be as quick. The whole idea of the more board is, is you lock everything in place. So there is no balancing and working out where that one in, or, you know, you cut a template of the wall that's coming up when you're working on the 45, then you use that template to turn and cut the other. These are all great methods that we used many moons ago, but 
there wasn't a demand for what it is now, and this is the difference that the more boards make. It's just it's never been around before because the demand was never there before. I mean, if you want to go back even 30, 40 years, let's face it, there wasn't really much wood plank about, was it? You know, when it, LBT first come out, it was all just squares and that. And TK bought the first wood plank out, and it was every, very, very rarely you'd have a herringbone in it, but the rest of them, you know, wood plank didn't even come into the canter not that long, so no one, you know, has got that much experience, I suppose, apart from maybe Neil Andrews. Because he was teaching in the car dean all that time. But other than that, the rest of us, you know yourselves, you weren't fucking getting asked to do rainbows every week. So, anyway, hopefully that helps you with the 45. And it's not too long a video. I'm going to carry on redoing these and liking the videos as I go. And, uh, you know, within time, they'll get better.